Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond for Tuesday, October 29th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Got a trifecta of college football, all nationally televised here. Sunbelt and Conference USA as we're starting 7 p.m. Eastern. A reminder, if you can comment below, it does help out the algorithm. Where you agree, where you disagree, all is welcome. Your college football picks. And smash that like button if you're liking the content, guys. First game up, 7 p.m. Eastern, New Mexico State and FIU. Pitbull Stadium, Miami, Florida. 45 being the total. It's the FIU Golden Panthers, minus nine-point home favorites. New Mexico State comes in two and five straight up and against the spread. They lost five straight against FBS teams this season. But they did win last week against Louisiana Tech. I think that speaks volumes of the Louisiana Tech squad this year. But, uh, hey, you got to give them credit for that. Tony Sanchez coaching them up to the win. And now they're heading down to West Miami to take on FIU, who's 2-6 and six straight up. They are 5-3 and three against the spread and covered three of their last four. But the one game they didn't cover, they lost outright as a favorite to UTEP. So uh, go figure here with this FIU team. They are tough to figure out. I've seen a lot of FIU football over the last couple of years, unfortunately. And this team is all over the place. Uh, it really comes down to their quarterback here. They've taken money. I think it's because head coach Mike McIntyre said their quarterback, uh, Jenkins, he took all the reps in practice. We'll see how he does. I mean, he was pulled last game because, you know, his injury to his shoulder. He was making a tackle against UTEP a couple weeks ago, and this offense can't do anything without him. However, if he's not 100%, I'm not so sure how how they're going to do with him. New Mexico State is not a great team by any means. They're a team that kind of rotates through four quarterbacks to this point in the season. But asking FIU to lay nine points, they're going to have to win by double digits here. I don't like that profile on FIU at all, guys. So it's New Mexico State plus the nine to lead us off. We'll go from the Sunshine State to the Lone Star State here for the next Conference USA battle. It's Sam Houston State and Louisiana Tech. 45 and a half being the total. Sam Houston State minus 10 to as high as minus 10 and a hook here. Kind of a split line. This one in Bowers Stadium, Huntsville, Texas on ESPNU. And... I like Sam Houston State in this one, guys. They're 6-2 and two on the season. Um, it comes down to their quarterback as well, though, in this hand, in this handicap. Their quarterback, Hunter Watson, their starter, he did not play last week, and their offense really struggled. He is a good player. If you watch him play at the college football level, um, he can run it. He can throw it. He actually has more rushing yards than the top three Louisiana Tech running backs combined. This kid's a good athlete. He's listed as probable. And their head coach, Casey Keeler, said he is confident he will be ready for the Louisiana Tech game. I'll take that as a positive. Um, on the other side, Louisiana Tech here kind of talked about it in the last game. This offense is just hard to watch. Uh, they really are, guys. They, they have trouble moving the football. They scored two touchdowns against UTEP. They scored 10 points against FIU. Uh, their head coach, Sonny Cumbie, he relinquished the play calling duties a few weeks ago. And they actually had a spark against Middle Tennessee State. They scored almost 50 points. The problem with that is Mississippi or Middle Tennessee State. Sorry if I said Mississippi State. MTS, you can't stop anybody so and sure enough in the in the couple games since then they haven't done anything offensively um sam houston state's four and one against the spread with hunter watson behind center they won this game 42 27 last year i think it's more of the same i think sam houston state blows them out i would lay the 10 10 flat here it is the bearcats of sam houston state over louisiana tech and the bulldogs conference usa action uh, two of them here for Tuesday night. We also got a Sunbelt game that we're getting to. But a reminder, if you can't comment below, it does help out the algorithm, guys. I'll be in there chiming away with you guys. Um, anything is welcome, what you're looking to bet, where you agree, where you disagree. In recap, I know a lot of you guys on me about the recap. We did go 3-0 and 100% on Sunday in the NFL. Um, split out on Saturday. Uh, went 2-1 and one on Friday. Um, did go 0-3 on Thursday. So kind of the way I do this sometimes, guys, is I record the night before, so I can't always kind of recap the night the night of. But um, that does put us, you know, up to date now, 42 and 28 over the last five weeks. That's 60 percent against the spread plus 11 units. So up double digit profit here if you've been following along. 
Um, giving it all out for free right here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. So if you could help me out, smash that like button if you've been profiting with us and comment below. It helps out the algorithm, guys. Check out Premium Picks, wagertalk.com, $5 Tuesday. Top plays up and available. Four percenter for me going in college football, discounted to just $5. Also got the 5% max limit as well going this week. That's the top rated play if you want to check that out. And uh, premium packages, you know, seven day, 30 day. We got the uh, 30 day uh, discounted here, and it inclu- includes all the sports guys. So premium picks. Drew Martin, wagertalk.com. All right, last game up. We are heading to Bobcat Stadium, San Marcos, Texas. For Louisiana, the Ragin' Cajuns and the Texas State Bobcats. Texas State minus three in the hook, 58 being the total. 7.30 Eastern on ESPN2. This is a big one in the Sun Belt. Louisiana comes in six and one straight up. Texas State just four and three, but they do have uh, their quarterback there. Jordan McLeod, he was the Sun Belt Conference Player of the Year. Good player behind center. Head coach G.J. Kenny knows this is a big game for Texas State, but... Louisiana has kind of been riding under the radar. This six and one record, you know, I I really haven't you talked about this team much. I mean, over the last couple of years, they've kind of been a middling team, you know, ever since kind of Billy Napier took that Florida job. But this year, they're starting to get on a roll, guys. They're six and one straight up. They're four and zero on the road. Now they're playing on the road here. They've won four straight overall. They've won three straight by double digits. They beat Wake Forest this season. They were also within one score of Tulane. That was their only loss. That's a pretty good Tulane team. Now, do note scheduling spot. Both teams are off 10 days rest. You know, when you play these midweek games, if it's your first time doing it, which it is uh, for Louisiana, they hadn't played since, you know, last Saturday, the Saturday before. So 10 days rest, a little extra preparation time for both squads. But when you go to that last Saturday, Texas State, was at Old Dominion laying 10 and a hook, and they lost by double digits. So uh, that that was a huge loss there, particularly against the point spread. And Louisiana, that same Saturday, went on the road to Coastal Carolina and won by 10 points, covering, covering pretty easily in that one. And their quarterback, Ben Woldridge, he's a guy, he transferred from Fresno State, He's a California guy, redshirt senior, been, you know, played a bunch of college football, but he he's been injured each of the last two seasons for the Rage and Cajuns, and it's really hurt him offensively. But this year, he he, he looks to be healthy. 1800 yards passing. He's got 20 total touchdowns. Louisiana scored 33 plus points in all but one game this season. This offense can really move it. Um, they're catching three and a half here. The markets push Texas State, which they have really all season. I mean, Texas State has kind of been a darling in the betting markets. Not so much, you know, making money, but uh, people like to bet them. I think it's because of Jordan McLeod, but I actually think Ben Woldridge is riding a little bit under the radar. This is a fun offense to watch, a little bit quirky. I think they catch Texas State. Off, you know, a, a little bit uh, off balance, if you will. Last year they won this game, thirty-four thirty. Hey, it could be, you know, back and forth again. I do like the over uh, fifty-eight, but uh, even more so, guys, for the show, we'll go on the side here. Louisiana, the Raging Cajuns, plus three in the hook. So that's going to do it for the Tuesday show. We'll be back on Wednesday. Come back and join us. Comment below. Smash that like button. In recap, we got Louisiana plus three and a half. Sam Houston State. Minus 10 and New Mexico State. Yep. New Mexico State, the Aggies, plus nine against FIU. All right, Drew Martin checking out. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Cash those tickets. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday.